Hi, I'm Peter Donegan for Tobin Brothers Funeral Say It Now Week, on now until Sunday. Visit tobinbrothers.com.au to watch all of this year's Say It Now ambassador videos. Today's ambassador is a Melbourne Victory legend. He played 120 games for the Victory. As a 16-year-old, he was recruited by Sir Alex Ferguson and was a member of the famous Manchester United squad. Let's find out who it is. Hi, I'm Grant Brebner for Tobin Brothers Say It Now Week. I'm here today to say thank you to some very special people in my life, particularly my mum and dad. I think my earliest memory of uh, you know, the, my childhood upbringing was, was obviously kicking around a soccer ball at a, a young age and the years go by and then, and then you realise that you know, kicking a soccer ball around can, can become a little bit more than, than uh, just for fun. My mum and dad were, while not coming from a football background, they, they were very supportive and, and making sure that, you know, you get to training sessions, um, you arrive on time, juggling their own life, um, lifestyles around as well to, to help me fulfill a dream of becoming a footballer. I think, uh, you know, my earliest memories of, of playing soccer, um, you know, and, and taking it to the next level, um, the professional level would be um, the trips down to Manchester as a kid. Um, so you'd go down every holidays to, to Manchester, Man United and, um, you know, slowly but surely you start thinking about, you know, moving away from home and obviously that would be a big part, leaving Scotland to go to England and um, leaving your family behind. Later on in life when I signed for Reading, the trip was even further for them. But, uh, you know, in my 50 odd games for Reading, I don't think they missed probably less than a handful of games. Uh, every week they were driving six, seven, eight, nine hours to come down and, and support me. So it always meant a lot. Look, I think, I think there's also an opportunity to mention the, the football club. I came here 13 years ago, 2006, and um, when I stepped off the plane, there was not one person I knew in Australia. So uh, for this football club to, to have such a footprint on me um, and the people at it, um, you know, I think back to, to Kevin Musket, um, who, you know, was one of my teammates at the time, helped me settle in Australia, um, then went on to have such a fantastic career, legend of the club, um, Ernie Merrick for signing me, bringing me out here, giving me the opportunity. Um, and also there's still, you know, a lot of people that don't get thanked that are, that are in the backroom staff um, and, and obviously at board level. Um, the chairman's been here since I arrived. There's, there's many people that you want to thank. So. Last but certainly not least is um, to my wife and my, my two beautiful kids. Um, I'd just like to say it now that they are uh, a huge part of, of you know how successful I am today. Um, still coaching at Melbourne Victory, they, they support me endlessly. It's always great to come home after a long day and see their beautiful faces and um, you know they, they certainly keep the drive and the passion within me to, to keep pushing forward. Mum, Dad, I, uh, I just want to say it now. Um, I wouldn't have had the, the career, um, I wouldn't have had the life I had if it wasn't through your support and, and your ongoing support to this day. Um, I'll be eternally grateful for, for everything you've done for me to, to get me where I am today.